She lived with me for free for four years. Continue watching for a story time. Story time. So I wasn't going to make this story ever, but I really don't have any Fs to give anymore. So I'm going to spill the tea on what I went through for four years straight. And if she is watching this, hello. Thank you for ditching me after I gave you a place to live for free for four years. Yes, that's where the story starts. So in 2019, I met this girl. I'm not going to say her name. We're going to give her, let's say, let's call her Cindy. Kind of like Mindy, but it's not the Mindy situation that Tana and Brooke went through. Because this, this girl didn't sleep with anybody that I cared about. But we're going to call her Cindy because she still fucked me over pretty hard. So... It all started in 2019 when I met this girl and a bunch of her friends. And growing up, I never really had anyone throw me a party, a birthday party, except for my parents. And when they did, I never really had anyone show up. I wasn't that popular growing up. So I really wanted a surprise party before I turned 30. And so my 29th birthday... I ended up getting a surprise party from this girl and a couple of my other friends that put it together. Well, I, I wouldn't call them my friends anymore, but a couple of other people that put it together. So the, she told me that she paid like two, three grand for my party, but in reality her friend did and he was the main reason why I had a party at a hotel. And it was fun until somebody decided to shoot their guns off to scare people away and then the party got shut down and we ended up going over to a friend's house so anyways that's kind of where it started and i was super in love with the fact that i have all these friends i'm now popular and i'm living my life that i wanted to in high school and i went to all these parties and the cindy girl is super pretty like model-esque beautiful girl and I just felt like I'm here. I'm in my popular phase now. I'm I'm here. And I was wrong. I was very wrong. It ends up that I told this girl, she at the time just got kicked out of one of her ex-best friend's houses. And she had no place to live. And she's this gorgeous girl that I she would not survive being homeless. So I told her that she can live with me for about a week or two until she gets her job and finds her place to live and all that. So this is all before COVID. And so two weeks go by, she hasn't paid yet and paid for her rent. And I was just like, okay, well, she it's hard, I guess, to get a job these days. And then all of a sudden COVID hits and then we were stuck for however long you guys know inside quarantining so it ends up being two years that she lived with me so all during covid she obviously couldn't get a job no one really could um maybe she could if she tried hard enough i mean there are online jobs and stuff that people could do but she didn't do anything she didn't go get a job and i at the time was like it's okay it's covid like it's understandable i'm just really fucking nice to people and let people use me I don't know why. So after COVID kind of went away, I guess, I don't think it fully went away, but we all went back to our normal lives. And so that way she was, you know, if she wanted to get a job, she could get a job. It's people are probably hiring more than they were before. And so she didn't get a job. She said that she went to interviews and she didn't because she didn't have a car. I have a car and she never used my car to go to interviews. And I wouldn't let her use my car. Actually, I did several times, which was a horrible mistake because she didn't even have her license. She got into a horrible accident, which she was okay, but my car was not. And my insurance was not okay with it. So I'm still to this day paying for that. And um, along with the rest of the shit that she left me to pay for. But I'd, 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 I'd try to help her find all kinds of jobs and stuff and offer to take her to interviews. And we get there and then the time comes, the day comes when her interview is and some excuse pops up like she can't go. 
And this is like becoming three years now and she still hasn't paid rent. She's probably given me like $80 the most um, that she got from her multiple sugar daddies. She would use multiple guys. They weren't even sugar daddies. They were broker. They were more broke than she was. But they were so obsessed with her that they would pay a dime and a penny and even a dollar for her attention. And must be nice. Must be very nice. Because if I could find a man that can give me money for being pretty, that would be very good. But she would use that money to buy new clothes from Fashion Nova. And she would spend money on her little best friend, who was actually my friend first, but she kind of stole from me. And... She's more closer in age to that girl, so she thought she has a better connection with her. And she is a better friend for some reason. I don't know. I gave her a place to live. I gave her a very nice neighborhood to live in, safe, no no crime around here. And um, she basically, I kicked her out eventually uh, last November. And, or oh, I'm sorry, last October or September. I don't I think it was October. And she just moved out. She didn't help me move at all. Oh, another thing. So, I forgot to mention that um it was not just her that living with me. She ended up bringing her brother and inviting him to live with me along with one of her close homies who was supposed to stay with me for only like a month, but he ended up staying with me for a year almost. And none of them paid rent. None of them did anything. Occasionally, they'd get food, and then they'd share with me, and they'd complain that I'm eating their food. I'm like, okay, bitch. Like, listen. So, I was living in a house for two people with me and three other people, and the house was constantly a mess, constantly, like, it looked like a trap house, because nobody wanted to clean after themselves. And I don't want to clean after other people. I'd clean after up after myself. And yes, I'd be messy in my own way in my room. And that's it. But I won't mess up anywhere else like they did. So I eventually was like, you know what? I, I, need, I need you guys to leave. And it went through a whole bunch of stuff. They started threatening me, threatening my family, and saying all this stuff and just basically making up all these excuses and I don't know how but eventually this this bitch got out of my house and she and the people that she invited to live with us none of them helped me move because I ended up having to move out of my place uh two months after she moved out and that's why I needed her to move out because my lease was up and you gotta get out because I don't need to deal with this bullshit so she ended up uh, leaving and my dad ended up breaking his shoulder because he had to move all my furniture um, from one apartment to the next by himself and he ended up getting shoulder surgery like months later because he did all that. I helped move a little bit but I have back problems so I'm kind of limited on what I can lift but we eventually got everything moved in and now I'm living by myself and I am the happiest person I've ever been and my message is basically like me growing up I've always wanted to be Miss Popular have all these friends and I finally got that and I hated it I hated it I hated having all these friends I like to keep my circle small nowadays because it's less drama and if you have drama I will cut you off very fast because I'm a 33 year old woman and I have had my fair share of drama in middle school high school elementary school all the way up to college and I my 20s were just drama. I, I'm now a 30-year-old woman, and if I'm going to get wrinkles from stress, it's going to be for my future kids, who I have not had yet. So I'm not going to let you give me wrinkles. I'm not going to let you be the reason why I need Botox in one year, because you stress me out. So if you're watching this, take note that don't let people use you. In, as much as they may make you feel so special and loved and that's just manipulation so i'm happy now and if little cindy lou who sees this i got nothing to say to you honestly you're just trash you're trash you're trash have a nice life <laughs>